But do I wish I had upgraded the memory? Welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today is going to be a one week update of my new 2020 MacBook Air. So if you guys did not see my unboxing video, I'll have that up here for you guys and also down below in the description box where one week ago I opened up my brand new MacBook. So this is the 13 inch 2020 MacBook Air in the color gold and this video is just going to be a one week update answering a lot of those questions that you guys had in the comments in my unboxing video. Also any issues I've had with this MacBook and just my overall experience from one week of use. So this is the 2020 MacBook Air 13 inch in the color gold and I got the quad core i5 processor with 8 gigabytes of memory and one terabyte also a thousand gigabytes of storage. This has the fingerprint touch ID reader, the magic back click keyboard, and this is the brand new MacBook that just came out. So the main question that I got in the comments on my unboxing video was, does this overheat? So I have experienced a couple of times where the fan was really working and it was kind of getting pretty hot at the bottom. The first time was when I was playing Sims 4. So I have not played Sims since I was like 12 years old. The only reason that I got Sims is because of this whole quarantine. It was only $5. And so I'm gonna actually pull up Sims for you guys and show you. But every time I play Sims, even with the graphics, all on the lowest quality settings this thing still does overheat so for those of you who are looking for a laptop to play sims and do gaming i definitely would not recommend an air you might need something like a pro or even maybe just an air with an upgraded amount of um, memory i got the eight gigabytes there was a 16. let me pull up sims and show you guys what i mean when i say it overheats while i'm playing sims Okay, so I just loaded up Sims and let me see if you guys can hear it, but I can already hear the fan working and I just barely started the game up. Let me actually mute the Sims so you guys can hear the fan. So literally as soon as I open up Sims, it's already um, overheating, but pretty much the entire time while I'm playing Sims, it is overheating. Um, it's kind of annoying, but I'm probably never going to play Sims again after this whole um, quarantine situation's over, so it's not really a deal breaker for me. Okay, the next question I got a lot was recommendations for cases. So I actually am not going to put a case on my MacBook. And the reason for that is because my old MacBook was a 2015 Air and the entire five years I owned it, I had one of those hard shell snap on cases on and I, realized that it was warping the edges and so when I finally took the case off to sell it some of these corners right here were kind of warped and stuff from that. I've also heard of issues with those types of cases causing overheating. My case did have vents on the bottom but I still just don't really want to take that chance with my new MacBook. I might however just buy a screen protector in one of those skin cases that kind of just stick on but anything hard or stuff like that I'm not planning on putting on this MacBook. I pretty much just use it at home and if I travel anywhere I have a leather sleeve that I put it in but other than that I'm just going to be really careful with it because I don't want to risk warping or damaging any of those outside edge pieces. Okay next is this. So right after I finished filming my unboxing, I realized that this apple does not glow. I don't know when they stopped making this iconic apple glow, but my 2015 Air had the glow whenever you opened it. This was glowing white. Um, it's not really that big of a deal to me, but it still was cool to have that iconic glowing apple symbol. So something that I really, really like is the keyboard. So they say that this is the new Magic Keyboard. It's supposed to be a lot better than the previous models and just make typing a lot smoother. I can definitely say that I've noticed a huge difference between my 2015 Air and this one. The keys are just, oh, they feel a whole lot better when you're typing, it feels smoother and all of that. Um, the large trackpad is something that I've had to get used to. So the trackpad on this Air is a lot larger than my old Air was. And and sometimes I have trouble clicking and it takes a couple of tries because I'm just not used to that really large trackpad, but I definitely prefer it over the smaller one. 
Something that I really enjoyed having is a fingerprint reader. So these new Airs, like the Pros, have a fingerprint reader. And so instead of having to type in your password every time you unlock your MacBook, except for when you first shut it down or restart it, all you do is just put your finger on the fingerprint reader, just like the old iPhones. It's super quick. And let me lock it and show you guys. But this is so convenient instead of having to keep typing in my password every single time. So... Here my screen is locked, let me show you guys how quickly the fingerprint reader responds. So all you do is just put your finger on it and boom, it's already unlocked. So I definitely really enjoy that feature about this MacBook. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through some of the comments on my unboxing video and answer some of the questions that were commonly asked for you guys. Will it heat up in Chrome with three tabs open? So no, the only time I've experienced overheating is playing Sims or also sometimes whenever I'm editing a lot of different videos and photos in Photoshop and Final Cut Pro. So for regular daily use, I definitely would say this MacBook is perfectly fine. How much was the MacBook? So these 2020 MacBook Airs start at $9.99 or $8.99 for education pricing. I actually got mine through education pricing, which is for teachers and students. I am a substitute teacher working on becoming a teacher, but they did not ask for any type of verification. So my MacBook was $100 cheaper. After I did the upgrade for the storage, it ended up being $13.99. And then after taxes, it was $15.14. So this common question that I've kind of already answered, but how are the heating and fan issues? I've heard that i5 really heats up and the fan goes crazy even during normal use. I'm a student and would not use it for editing or anything, but how's your experience? So yes, I have experienced overheating, but no, I would not say it goes crazy during normal use. If you are just a regular student or doing this for regular daily use, it definitely will not overheat from my experience. Um, if you're not doing any editing of videos or photos, I think you should be perfectly fine. So lots of people said that they think that I should have upgraded the memory to 16 gigabytes, but my main priority was the storage because my last MacBook only had 128 gigabytes and so I literally had to delete everything like every single day in order to have space to edit and so I really wanted to have a MacBook where I could be doing multiple videos and photos without having to keep deleting stuff. Um, do I wish I had upgraded the memory? Now I kind of do just to have a faster processor, but I think in the future once I can afford it I'm definitely going to go for the pro but for now I am perfectly fine with my configurations on this laptop do you edit on your MacBook Air? If so, what is that experience like? Yes. So I've only had this for a week, obviously, but before that I had my 2015 MacBook Air for five years and I used Final Cut Pro. As far as editing, I have not had any issues. My only problem before was not having enough storage for all of the different video files. What is the cheapest MacBook? So the cheapest MacBook Air starts at $899 for education or $999 normal. It is the 13 inch with the i3 processor and 256 gigabytes of storage. How many days did it take to process the order? So I ordered mine on March 18th and I received it on April 4th, but it wasn't until I'm gonna say March 31st that the order had actually processed. And then I got the notification that it was preparing to ship and about three or four days later, I got the MacBook. I got a lot of questions asking, did it arrive earlier than expected? And yes, I think my projected arrival date was between April 7th and 14th and I got it on April 4th. So it was definitely a couple of days earlier. I'm also using a MacBook Air 2015. Did you find a huge difference in battery life? So no, according to the um, stats, I guess you could say, I think this MacBook Air 2020 is supposed to have a little bit less battery life than the previous ones because of how much faster the model is and I have the quad core processor but in day-to-day -day use I have not personally noticed a huge difference in battery life usually in my downtime I'll just plug it in and so when I'm ready to use it it already has battery life What do you think is better to edit video between the MacBook Air and the Pro? So for me, I did not have the means to buy the Pro that I would have wanted with all the upgrades and stuff like that. A MacBook Pro can be anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000, maybe even more. And so it's definitely a very steep investment. For me, the MacBook Air is within my budget, within my means, and it gets the job done. So if you can afford a Pro, the Pros are definitely better when it comes to editing video and stuff like that. But if you cannot afford it, the MacBook Air is definitely enough to get the job done. 
So those are the main questions I got in the comments. If you guys have any more questions about my MacBook as I continue to use it, comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So all in all, I absolutely love this laptop. It was a huge upgrade from my 2015 MacBook Air. In the future, I think once I have the money to afford it, my next laptop will definitely be a MacBook Pro. But for now, this can last me a couple of years. I love it. It's so pretty. Look at the gold. And it definitely gets the job done. So if you guys are looking for a great laptop, whether you're in college or high school or just daily use, this is a great affordable option if you are not in the price range to purchase a $2,000 or $3,000 MacBook Pro. So this is my 2020 Air. If you guys have not checked out my unboxing, check that out down below. I will see you guys in my next video. I upload three videos a week during quarantine. My schedule is Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Hope you guys are staying safe and staying at home. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.